Anthony Shaw for NYSC Floor Talk. Joining me today is Taras Venkovic. He is founder and CEO at H3 Dynamics. Taras, it is wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. So, Taras, you've founded several businesses in the hydrogen sector over the past 20 years. Tell me, what have you learned so far? Well, um, it's been a journey. And uh, what I've learned mostly is that the hydrogen space is almost like a puzzle, which um, you have to construct piece by piece. Uh, you have to build the pieces of the puzzle, you've got to assemble them in the right order, and you have to have a vision for what that image in the end looks like. So what I started 20 years ago was the start of that uh, puzzle. And we started uh, a, one uh, company which became a very large manufacturer of fuel cell technology and MEA materials, as well as electrolyzers. Um, this company gave life to three other market-focused companies one in heavy vehicles that listed here in New York a couple years ago, um, and um, a lab equipment company, and H3 Dynamics, which is focused on aerospace applications. Right. Uh, in, in aggregate, these uh, companies raised close to $750 million uh, in their lifetime. Um, and H3 Dynamics is the next adventure. So H3 Dynamics started in 2015 to address the world of aviation, which is very ambitious. Um, tell me, why aviation and what's special about your approach? Well, aviation is one of the key markets where hydrogen, we feel, has a significant value proposition, simply because hydrogen is an extremely lightweight element. It has the best energy per weight um, ratio in all of the elements uh, of the universe. So it has a natural... Uh, opportunity in reducing the weight of electrification uh, opportunities in aviation. So if you want to electrify flight, you have two choices. You can use batteries or you can use hydrogen, right? And that's kind of what we are pursuing uh, with H3 Dynamics. Uh, but we're building it in steps because it's very, very difficult to go into aviation with this technology. Huge safety and regulatory barriers. Um, and so we're not going all in in propulsion right now for big aircraft. We think that the challenge increases with the size of the aircraft. So we're trying to break down the challenge into bite-sized chunks and find the entry points, the right entry points for us to start generating revenue early, okay, so that we can progress towards our, our ultimate goal as a sustainable company. Okay. So Finally, Taras, you're still privately funded. Um, what are some of the key milestones this year and what do you expect for the coming 12 to 24 months? Well, we've already achieved quite a lot. Um, we're nearing profitability already in the hydrogen aviation world, which is almost like a, a miracle. Um, we've done that by creating three business units, um, the first of which is now uh, reaching EBITDA uh, neutral. Uh, we just need another one of those business units to achieve the same uh, kind of threshold for the entire group to become profitable. Um, in the next 24 months, we believe that we will get to positive EBITDA, um, at which point we'll be raising a significant amount of capital to basically accelerate uh, all the stuff that we've been building up until now. All right, well, Darius, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.